by the river there coming to you Easter Sunday, April 21st, 3 p.m. here on TTT. Something to look forward to. But right now, I'm looking forward to Shamla's next interview. Good morning, Shamla. Hi, good morning, How Lisa. Are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Congratulations, 1 million views. Yes. That's what we're going to say. Yes. That's, <laughs> that's almost the population of Trinidad. Yes, good. <laughs> that means everybody watching you. Incredible. All right, I'm going to hand you over now so that you yeah. can talk to Christy. Yeah? And Natalie. And Natalie. Yes. Hi, good morning, everyone. Welcome to a brand new segment of Unique, Not Different. Well, on Thursday, that is the 21st of March, we celebrate World Down Syndrome Day. And what a better way to celebrate with the Down Syndrome family. And one of its advocates, self-advocate, is Christy D'Souza. Good morning, Christy. Good morning. How are you? I'm all right. Well, I know you are an avid advocate for persons with Down syndrome, mm -hmm. and you do it through what you personally, personally love to do. So now I'm going to ask you, you work, right? Where do you work and what do you do? Where do I work? Yeah. I work in Mill Street and General, General Affairs. Okay, so that is that was your school that you attended, you currently work now? Um, I used to go to this Montessori school. Okay. And now you work in there? Well, I, I have a job in Mill Street in General Affairs. Okay, and what do you do? Things I do is scanning. Scanning? Shredding. Right. And learn how to type. Okay. And you are a member of this Down Syndrome Family Network, and you work with other children and other, you know, persons with Down Syndrome, and help them in terms of, you know, activities. So what type of activities do you help them with? Well, coloring. Coloring, OK. Puzzling. Mm -hmm. They do puzzles. And after that, they will get a little break. They get break, so play and stuff like that. Yes. And you have hobbies. Yes, I do. What What are your hobbies? I like to sing and dance. You like to sing? Mm -hmm. And what What type of music do you like to sing? Uh, I like to sing pop, romance, and oldies. Pop, romance, and oldies. Yes. You know that is my kind of music as well. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. So maybe one day you can come and serenade us. Okay. You think? Yes. <laughs> right. And good morning, Natalie. Good morning. You are, di you are one of the directors of the Down Syndrome Family Network. I am. Right. And I always am curious that, okay, what, what study of fashion, you know, to become a director or a member of the Down Syndrome Family Network? It's actually a unique story. Um, I started off going into teaching where I wanted to go into primary school, but I ended up choosing special needs education. Oh. And uh, it led me to Down Syndrome Family Network, where I joined as a volunteer. Mm -hmm. I have been a volunteer for a very long time, and uh, because of my passion, I decided to take up the director position right. to basically help persons with uh, disabilities uh, um, generally. Right. It's not because I have anybody in my family, my immediate family, exactly. with a disability. It's because I want to see progress in the nation, and I want to see persons with disabilities included in everything that we do. Right, and that what you know, that kind of anytime I see someone who is not affiliated mm -hmm. with so, you know with anyone with a disability, yet they're working hard. Correct. It can, it, you know, inspire me to work for them because. If you are inspired to do it, yeah. who is me? Exactly. You know? So the network itself, mm -hmm. right? Every year, they go with a team. Yeah. On in March. Yes. Uh, so there's the lots, lots of socks. Mm -hmm. Can you tell the audience what lots, lots of socks is about? Uh, the lots of socks campaign. It started a couple years ago, mm -hmm. where we wear different colored socks, funky socks, bright colored mismatch socks. The purpose behind that is to create awareness about persons with disabilities. Right. How, when you wear the socks, 
and it's not the normal black or white and people right. see it like why are you wearing a high socks or why are you wearing that type of socks yeah it's for you to now start a conversation about persons with disabilities and the potentials that they have right and every year you also go with a team mm -hmm. in your conference at the conference right and this year's team it we follow suit to the united nations okay and the team that they chose for this year's conference is leave no one behind Right. So basically, that's what we are doing. We are trying. We are not leaving anybody behind. We are trying to progress and move forward. And, and at this conference, what do what would we expect? Uh, we have um, this year at the conference. We mm -hmm. have Emmanuel Bishop, a self advocate. He's been around a, a lot of different uh, continents, the three continents. He's spoken to a lot of persons about advocacy. Mm -hmm. um, he's very talented. He's a musician. He could play golf. He has multiple skills. Additionally, we would have guest speakers. Yeah. But uh, persons wishing to find out more would have to come. Of course. And in terms of the advocates, the self advocates mm -hmm. who are members, because I know the Down, syn the Down syndrome family mm -hmm. has a large network. It has. Right? And I know you, you guys hold workshops during your, um, yes. you know, different seminars, etc. So the workshop, what, the, what is the aim of each workshop? Um, at the South Africa's workshop, we follow suit with uh, the general team of the conference. Right. Um, we break the advocates workshop into two juniors mm -hmm. and seniors. Christy helps me with the seniors. Okay. Um, what it is that we do is that we have various activities for the juniors. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like play, but it's all a learning experience where the parents now would be able to sit and take in whatever information that is provided for them during the conference. So the kids would be involved in, as Christy said, puzzles, coloring, so they would know the different colors. They'd be able to fit puzzles together. They'd have fine, most fine motor skills, activities, gross motor skills activities. And on the other side now is the Senior Self-Advocates Workshop, yeah. where I said Christy helps me. Yeah. Um, we try to get our advocates to understand what is the meaning of advocacy, mm -hmm. to be able to stand up for themselves, to be able to speak um, when spoken to, how do you respond, what is appropriate, what is not appropriate, mm -hmm. and basically prepare them for society um, as best as we could. Yeah. And I had I had Surya mm -hmm. as well as Daniel on yes. my segment, and Surya works at IMAX, IMAX. right? And Daniel currently goes to school, and he plays plays with All Stars yes. Junior. I know your group also pushed towards getting persons mm -hmm. with Down syndrome who are competent enough into the corporate world, you know, so c they could be achieve some form of independence. Yes. How does that look? Um, it's a lot of work uh, where we need uh, parents to get involved uh, because uh, we're doing our part to furnish them with the information to prepare their um, offsprings for society. And basically it's for, we advocate for inclusion. Right. So when they go out into the workplace, everybody will be sensitized towards this person. We don't want them to be in a workplace where they are seen as, um, let's say, somebody who greets somebody at the front desk or just they're out of pity, but we want them to be competent on the job to be able to earn that their place respect. there. Yeah, yeah. They deserve. And Christy, what would you like to tell the audience, Trinidad and Tobago and the world, what would you like to just tell them anything? Tell them anything. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it's my chance. Uh huh. To go to normal school. Right. And to to react with people. Right. And how to talk with 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 the children. Right. To to say what they have to say, like what is this number? What number is that? Mm -hmm. They will, they want they want to learn. How to go to schools, go to college, because we want to give them a chance yeah. to do all those type of things. Excellent. And can you, can you just tell the audience where you guys can be reached? Oh, we could be reached at 
www.psfamily.org or you could contact us on our Facebook page, our Instagram page, where you get all the information. Don't forget the conference is this Friday, the 22nd of March at Hyatt Regency and on Monday, the 25th at Tobago. And on Tuesday, we celebrate in Wooldong Syndrome Day. Everybody wear their socks. You have to wear your colored yes, socks. Yes, I will we wear have to and have I will take out everything. Hashtag it. Lots yes. Of stuff. <laughs> yes, so thank you, everyone. Um, this was another segment of Mimi. Not different with me. Sean Maharaj on CTT Live Now Morning Show. Until next week, be good. Do good. Bye, guys. Love. We have a surprise oh. for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in studio, one million views. It's a celebration. So we turn it to the camera. Yeah. Turn it, turn it, turn it, so you can see it. Oh my God, I need to help you. <laughs> <laughs> I need to help you. Bring it this way. Come, come. <laughs> there you go. One million views. Can you see that? Yeah. We did our best. To make it. That cake, that Special cake's thing. bigger than me. <laughs> a big blow. blow. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Is it magic hand? Is your love? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. One million views. Yes. Wow. Mm. Oh, I shouldn't be tasting your first You wanna taste? No. Congratulations to you, Shamla. Christy, Natalie, thank you so much for coming on and we continue to just reach for the stars, right? Yes, and each time I aim to do better and better, as I said, and focus on my guests, mm -hmm. you know, and bring out the best in them, given the, all at the time. And you bring out the best in everyone. I Thank so you. appreciative Thank of having you. you. You're definitely an inspiration, not just to Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. but to the entire world, because I'm sure people are looking on from all over. Yes, I actually world. see people from the UK and so on, so, you know, things like this should start in their country, and wow. I feel proud. Yes, yes. Because you're pioneering. We're oh, firing here in Trinidad <laughs> and Tobago. Oh, Trinidad. <laughs> yes, definitely. Well, we're going to take in a few messages. We might have some cake as well because it's a celebration here. One million views of Unique Not Different on TTT with Shamla Maraj. Back in a moment after this. <laughs>